Abalone are large marine snails. They're very slow moving and they're very tasty. And so they've been drastically overfished. There are not enough abalone in the Salish Sea to be able to reproduce naturally right now. So they're a really key component to our marine ecosystem. The mere presence of them within an environment can actually manipulate that environment to create a more diverse ecosystem. They have this niche that they carry it. So they're going around, they're grazing down on these rocks, they're acting like a vacuum cleaner of the ocean. The students have a project that really is going to make a difference to this local species and the hatchery has a need for, for that research. So our collaborations with university researchers uh, is really a, a crucial part of the program. It's a great uh, opportunity for, for us to move the program forward, but to also build new scientists uh, who are interested in marine research, who are interested in conservation. It's really this joint effort, all with that common goal of reestablishing a reproductive population of pinto abalone in the Puget Sound. So you come out of it with a strong research background, able to conduct your own research and learn how to utilize what's out there in the scientific field for you. You have to be curious, you know, you have to think outside the box, you have to think about, you know, these organisms that maybe you haven't given a lot of thought to before. They look so strange. They look like aliens out of water. My hopes for the future are that we get them in these higher density populations uh, where we can take our hands out of the water and be like, you're good, you've done it. Um, there's enough there that, that they can keep going. I'm super stoked to be a marine scientist. Being undersea and getting to see all of those ecosystems firsthand is what really keeps me going. And the fact that I can be out there and potentially lead to a more diverse ecosystem with my research is really exciting.